So you lied to your recruiter. You got through boot camp. Now what? Now what happens? Now what happens? As you guys can see from the title of this video, now what? Now what happens? You know, this is actually a serious issue. Um, there was a Marine uh, recruit in Paris Island who passed away from pneumonia. Um, he never went to medical. He never told anybody he was sick. Um, he tried to tough it out and he passed away, man. It's very, very sad. I've been getting a lot of messages about lying to the recruiter, getting through boot camp. Now you're out in the fleet. Now what happens? And just even before all that, even when you're in boot camp itself. I'm not gonna lie, back in 2010, when I went through boot camp, I faced the same stuff. You know, I hurt my knee. One of the first couple days, I banged it on one of the racks when we were doing uh, bunk drills, and I got really freaking swollen. Right here, we're in one of the ship's compartments. Over here, in this bunk, or rack as we like to call it, Recruits keep all of their clothing and personal items required throughout boot camp. I didn't go to medical for days and days and days until my knee was a freaking balloon. And then I was like, oh shit, man, like I'm so scared. I don't want to get set back. I don't want, I just want to graduate. I don't want to get asthma, whatever. But you know, I went to medical. They gave me some ice. They let me ice uh, my knee, you know, uh, a couple times a day. And I, got, and I got better. Before we get into this video though, I also want to tell you one more story about boot camp. It was right before battle stations. It was right before, you know, our final test in boot camp, that seventh week. And I got really, really freaking sick the day before battle stations. I didn't go to medical, but I, you know when you're sick, when you got the freaking chills, you have a pounding freaking headache, you know you got that fever when you're freaking shivering for no reason. The RDCs, the drill instructors, are trained to be able to notice when people are, um, you know, really hurt or when people are really sick and they're just trying to suck it up. They'll tell you, dude, semen schmuckatelli. Go to medical, man. Get some medicine. You're, you're not going to get asthma, all right? I get a lot of messages about people that are, you know, JT, I got through boot camp, um, but, you know, uh, I'm scared to go to medical because I lied about this or I lied about that. Let me just tell you from my freaking experience with medical in general, you know, in the Navy. They can't even take care of their own paperwork. Files are lost all the time of sailors' paperwork in the Navy. They can't even handle their own medical files. In the They don't have the resources to go to Billy Bob Jr.'s hometown in Rhode Island and dig out his medical records from his home doctor in a little tiny city that no one even knows the name of. My five years active duty, man, in the Navy, I never heard of anybody, of any person getting their civilian medical records pulled. I also just want to say, they're, when you go to medical in the Navy or for whatever reason, they're trying to get you in and out. They're trying to give you some freaking Motrin, give you some ice, and get you out of there, man. They ain't trying to do any in-depth freaking thing. Let's say you hurt your freaking elbow, whatever. You got elbow tinnitus, or you got something when you were a kid or younger. You know, you played a lot of tennis, or you played a lot of baseball. You, you're, you had a little elbow injury, and now you're in the Navy, and your elbow is hurting again for whatever reason. Your elbow's flaring up. Dude, don't, just go to freaking medical, man. They're not gonna dig out your medical records from when you were freaking 12 years old and you had, uh, you went to the doctors for your freaking elbow. Do you go to medical, get some medicine, do whatever physical therapy you gotta do to make yourself feel better. They, they're not gonna do that stuff, man, trust me. Get that stuff out of your head. Don't freaking worry. That stuff will ruin your first couple years in the military. You'll be stressing out about everything. Dude, you're gonna be okay. Once you get in, you'll see the Navy does not have those resources. And like I said, those very dramatic situations are where you might get got. You know, you got asthma and you hit it and you have an asthma attack. Or you have a freaking rod in your for your collarbone. You broke your collarbone and you got a big huge metal thing in there for whatever reason. All right guys, that's gonna be wrapping the video. Thank you so much for all the support. My boy, my main man Papa, we're here. I'm, uh, you know, I'm trying to pass my classes. Trying to get through this college summer school. I hope you guys, uh, you know, understand. Videos every other day, not every day. 
every other day until um, I pass this class. We got four more weeks and four more days. Four more weeks, three days, and a wake up to be exact. So uh, I'll see you guys on Friday. Stay tuned. I might be popping in once in a while doing live streams on the days I'm not doing videos. Um, you know, just to hang out, chat, shoot the sh. Pop. Pop. Come on, get him. Get him. This way. We'll go home. Good boy. Let's go, Greg. Come on. Good girl. Cheat. I'm that guy who butts in front of you, so I'll be first to eat. And I'll be your best friend until I stab you in the back, cause I'm your shit mate. But I'm alright with that, cause I'm a squirt and